sexy macaroni. It's today because I'm Marina and I'm all in here on one day so you guys can figure out what day it is. Can you tell I'm drinking pop making me hyper? It's books. I'm from my bookshelf. Book is another Stephanie Meyer book. Her less popular book, The Host, which it's a very good book. If you enjoy futuristic sci-fi almost, but it's not really like geeky sci-fi. It's a good story. If you enjoy futuristic things, is The Listeners. It's a little horror, just a little. And Nora sent this to me, and it's really beat up, not for me, from her. And it's a really good book. And then my favorite author next to Joe Rowling is Jodi Pico. He has two of her books in a lifetime movies, and then Everyone Knows My Sister's Keeper was a movie. Well, let's look at a few of my bookmarks. So this one, I read this book last year, and so this is... The, Water, a water thing. I took this out of my bottle and cut it up and put it in here. I read it when we went on vacation and we went to the Barbarian Blast and it's black because I couldn't drink alcohol. And the phone's ringing. And it's not ringing. Or not. That means my mom's work is calling. When is that? And this is probably the biggest book I own. Bone. It's about a little dude. See if you're a dude. And it's a comic book my uncle gave it to me for Christmas one year. And it's a very entertaining book. If you want an easy read and want to get out of having to read in school, looks like you're all smart. You can be all like, I'm all smart. I have a big book about a dude named Bone. And then you can be like laughing at like the little animated characters. My last book, I think, will be personally Marissa's favorite. She's a very similar one that her grandma got to her about that I think two doctors wrote one name might have been Liz. It's called Growing Up. It's a girl thing. I know, Marissa, you would want me to read this whole chapter, but I don't think I can. This one. This is not cleavage. I'll read about the birds and the bees. All living re creatures reproduce. From the tiniest moth to the largest rhinoceros. To reproduce means to make anew and make again. No species could continue to inhabit the earth without having the ability to reproduce. Many living things reproduce by mating, which means that a male and a female parent contributes genes to their offspring during the mating process. Putting male bird reproductive cells into the body of the female so that a sperm can unite with a female's egg is what mating is all about. And then it goes on to many sections, such as sexual intercourse, and wondering when you might begin, and what it feels like, and the characteristics of menstrual blood. So, I hope you enjoy that spiritual reading. I hope it riveted you to don't have sex, kids. I'll see you tomorrow, Nora. Uh, bye. This is a section called Ouch. How can a baby th through an opening that small? This is a question many people wonder about, and a question many ask themselves when they are about to have a baby. The walls of the vagina are very stretchy, and during a pregnancy, a woman's body goes through some changes on the inside that make it easier for the baby to come out. Still, for anybody who can put two and two together to figure out that getting a baby through an opening that small is a very tight squeeze. 